I'm a good cut to the chase. Go ahead and like and subscribe because you came to the right place. It's Neon Apex, and welcome back to Monster Sanctuary. In the last episode of Monster Sanctuary, um, we fought Bex and we explored some of the magma chamber, and we also went back to trying to uncover a couple of more little secret spots that we might not have been able to get to otherwise because we didn't have a um, high flying monster. But now that we do, we can go up here too. And <gasps> uh, uh, yeah, 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 uh, uh. What's where am I? The mythical workshop. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be up here. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe we won't come up here because this beat kind of hit too hard and this episode is kind of going to be packed with some stuff and I know, I don't know, let's just go this way, I don't know what I am saying, these, oh, never mind, <laughs> a stole beat, are we to physical attacks? Gas could heal. Bro, what? There's too many places to go now. Bro, there's way too many places to go now. That a whole cauldron, bro. Oh, I ain't even going pro sir. Nah, yeah, nah, you got that. Okay, not that bad. Rubies, bro. It's Vex again! Hello again! How are you doing? Did you hatch your Scorch yet? I hope your Scorch has been as useful to you as it's been to me. The Mythical Workshop is quite fascinating, isn't it? To think that I didn't even know this place existed. And it's so, so close to the Stronghold too. Funny how some places in the Sanctuary can only be reached with the help of certain monsters, isn't it? it makes them even more important to have. Anyways, since it seems that our fates have intertwined, I've been wanting to give you this. Shift stone. I guess I don't have to tell you what it is. That is, you should be able to make good use of that, right? From what I've heard, the champion monsters only get tougher the deeper you travel in the sanctuary. Funny how that works too, huh? Anyways, I'll probably stay here for now, so you'll know where to find me. Does that mean we'll never run into Bix? Like, I don't know, and again, I guess that Bex, like, he was my only friend. But when it's just raspberry, okay. Greetings, my name is Trevas, Trevastan. You must be a monster keeper. That must be another one of the alchemists. Let's get him. You must have met some of my former colleagues. Don't worry, I'm not an official member of the Order of Alchemists anymore. I don't need to have any monsters. I'm a scholar, not a fighter. That's why I was drawn to the Academy. It was the first time I found something that I could give recognition for. It was with great pain that I have I had to leave the Order, but I have had... I have blah 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 certain species about Mardok, leader of Order. If you help me, I will gladly share my suspicions with you, Keeper. But first, I need to confirm these suspicions. That's why I'm here. I need access to something that could very well be hidden away in one of the top floors of the workshop. Usually, I get by in the sanctuary with stealth and organizational smoke bomb or two, but the workshop's denizens aren't that easily fooled. Knowing my colleagues, they could 
also very well be a champion monster. There could also be a very, very well champion monster on the way. You keepers like taking care of those, right? If you can pave a path for me through the workshop, I'll share all I know with you. Well, this one seems to be quite reasonable. His knowledge would be very valuable to us. We should still keep an eye on him, but let's trust him for now. Okay, I'm not going that way, cause I don't know what's going on that way. I think I'm just going to spoil the workshop, cause there's a lot going on here. I don't know if I can do this, I don't know if I can see this, like I can't see and I got this, don't know if I can fly this out like a map in this workshop. I need a fire monster, where's the fire monsters that I got? I don't think I have a monster that can reach that. What do you want? Talk. What? Greetings, Keeper Ranger Apex. You are talking to Trade Gollum. Steam Gollum's wish to increase the production of trust between the biological and mechanical residents of the sanctuary. Therefore, trade golems offer different wares you, to you that were crafted in the workshop. A shield generator. Charging sphere. Thermal re- What? I can straight up buy craft boxes. Oh, there's only one here. I can buy as many level badges. Some more of those. Okay. Um. Alright. Bro, you mean to tell me this little thing is called the Oculus? I'm gonna name it Rift. <laughs> if I get one, I'm naming it Rift. Just for that, I might not get a. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get one. He don't want to be called Rift. Okay. Level badge. And where's Terraria? Oh. Put that up. And a level 5 ribbon. Level 5? What a time to be alive. I can't even remember if there's something else that I wanted to do. I think I was wanting to keep exploring the magma chamber this time. I just wanted to check what was up here then keep on going. I didn't know, like... Bro. Should I? You know what? I I'm curious. I'm curious to see what is up here. How do I? Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, nah, nah, nah. I ain't dealing with this right now. No, nope, you can miss me with it. I ain't even supposed to be here right now. There's a hole on the wall here, but there's no hole, so I'ma make one. Rewarded skill potion. Okay. I like it. Oh my gosh, that look. I love that. I love that. <laughs> the build up and then drop. I love that. I love that. All right, guys, we're back at the beach. And that is because <sighs> Leonard has been stuck in that hole ever since I went off and looked around and it's it's about time we get him back out and even though I know for a fact he is not going to like he's not going to thank me or anything once I do we have to move on with the story somehow and like you can only get so much filler you know before like wanting to continue the story again but yeah, I'll see you guys when I meet up with that, um, Leonard again. Alright, this idiot is this way, right? We have a monster capable of improvised flying. Let's save them. I can't believe it. I was actually saved by you. Didn't you get your first monsters recently? I think what he's trying to say is thank you. 
Hmph, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. If it wasn't you, maybe somebody else would have come along eventually. Anyway, I guess I owe you something now. Julia thinks she has found the entrance to the treasure cave. It is in the underwater area below us. She thinks that it takes three people to open an entrance. You can help us with that. Of course, let's go find that treasure. Alright, seems like we're getting closer to that treasure. Leonard, come back! This must be the entrance to the treasure cave. I'm sure of it. I just don't know how we're supposed to open it. I'm pretty sure those switches on the ground are the key to it. Or more accurately, we are the key. It takes three to enter the Maw of the Beast, remember? So let's just try to stand on those ground switches and see what happens. Alright, let's try it. Unbelievable! We must be the first people in centuries to enter this cave. Let's see what's inside. After me! Hey! Wait a minute! We deserve to get some of the treasure too! Leo, you ain't had nothing to say about that? Hmm? Oh my guy just rushed inside the cave? Of course they let him stand on the first button. Close to the cave. Ain't nobody gonna. Oh. Guess I got some fighting to do, huh, bro? There's so much more to this place. Oh. Chess. Another rare seashell. I thought it was an evolution item the first time I saw. There are some interesting looking books. I'm at looking at old books here. One of them seems to be a diary. The daring, extraordinary, and fancy escape escapades of Captain Card Car Captain Carter. <sighs> Written here are the true accounts of me, Captain Carter, the legendary pirate who terrorized the old woods oceans with his band of monsters. These accounts were written after I decided to retire from the life of piracy. But the stories of my deeds shall live on forever. If you are the first one to read this, you must have found out how to enter my treasure cave. Well done. You have proven to be my equal. However, to get my most valuable treasures, you will have to defeat the guardian that I left behind. One of my most loyal monsters and ageless creatures of the deep. That's the end of the introduction. Here's a book more stuck to one specific page later on in the book November 10th 20 I meant 202 AC today I was entering the drink cave it's a Rome villainy which shall be unnamed I approached the I was approached by a strange character he called himself an alchemist what I like the most though is that he started the conversation by dropping a heavy pound of ching of clinking gold coins on the table. He wanted to hire me for a simple smuggling job for him, and a group of other alchemists wanted to get inside the monster sanctuary. Thanks to my ship, which was able to freely cross the barrier between the old world and the monster sanctuary, I was the only one fit for the job. Sure, they were all rather strange folks, wearing robes and masks with names unlike any I've ever heard in in any of the countries of the old world. Yep, yep, they always have those type of names. But on the other hand, they had a lot of gold, almost as if they were able to craft it themselves. Interesting, isn't it? I realized too late that it was false gold. It was all turned brittle after a month or two. They tricked me. And I am not ashamed to admit it. There's another reason why I regret accepting that job though. Their leader in particular, they called him Marduk, gave me the creeps. I never actually talked to him or saw what was under his mask. But I heard the other alchemists whispering about him as if they were afraid of him themselves. I heard them say that none of them in fact knew what he, well, what he looked like. 
Some even said that his figure and his voice would change sometimes, like he could shapeshift or something. I truly dread what I might have brought inside of the sanctuary, even if I don't live to see it fully unfold. That's the end of that part. There doesn't seem to be anything else of major relevance. Memorial Ring. Can I break this wall? No. Okay, let's get out of here then. More fighting. Just what I like. Oh, no, nope. I'm switching to my familiar. I want to look cool in the cutscene. Look at that champion over there. That must be the older jail. I've heard a lot about them, but I've never seen one before. They say an elder jail only grows more powerful over time, so if you take too much time fighting one, it will only become stronger and stronger. A fight with this kind of dangerous monster champion is no child's play. Only an experienced keeper can burden the, bear this burden. Of course, I'll have to be the one to take on the, this champion monster. I think we should let Apex try beating this champion. What? You've got to be joking. We still owe something to Apex. We'd probably still be stuck in that pit without them. What? Oh, come on. It's dangerous for him, so it'd be like the, the negligence to just let him rush headfirst into a fight like that. That's not true, and you know that. Some, somebody who's come this far at least deserves a chance. Maybe he'll surprise us. Oh, all right, you can be as stubborn as an ox sometimes. Hey, wait a minute, aren't you all forgetting about something? I didn't get saved by Apex out of that, out of any pit, so why should I let him fight el that Elder Jail? I know just how to settle this, oh. And the winner gets to fight the Elder Jail and gets, oh, go ahead. How about it, are you ready for it? Ah. <sighs> Yes, let's fight, Julia. Let's fight. Underwater. Why I can't breathe. I'm some type of monster. I've collected monsters from all across the sanctuary. My team represents my journey as a monster keeper. <sighs> Freak you, Gloria. Uh, let's see. Started off a forge. That's fine. All right, we gotta get that that cat out of here. It's gonna start buffing stuff. Out of here. Oh gosh, bro, all that chip away damage. Ah, bleed damage, no, bleed damage, no, oh gosh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, she's actually leading. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's because she was chipping away the entire time. We're well, chipping away at my monsters the entire time, I should say. Alright, let's protect Moonmass, man. A shield protect us. I no, I have no clue. 
I'm more scared of the bleed damage. Nah, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Her, her little phoenix thing can revive from the dead, huh? That's good to know. Oh, it's dead again, so... Cat with his bleed damage make me want to take mine out. Alright, get out of here, uh, Julia. Wow, I honestly thought that'd be an easy win against a newcomer like you. It teaches me not to underestimate you. Alright then, you can go ahead and fight that elder jail. You've definitely earned it. Got anything to say about that, Leonard? I've got to, uh, to admit, the way you managed to fight, to fight that, the, 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 the way you managed that fight, that wasn't bad at all. Okay. Alright then. Oh gosh. Uh, grow stronger as you fight it, huh? Oh, he's weak to normal. I've lost, like, well, I've lost so many champion battles now that I'm slowly beginning to, like, underestimate, um, my team. I feel like Dracuz is going to be the one that handles this because Dracuz's attacks are... are almost like all well yeah they're all just normal type the question is do i want to you know what we're going to go for defense this time we're gonna play for defense we're gonna play super defensively gonna get up sustain got move mass man and for offense Hopefully he's able to- Oh, it has age! That's what they meant. Let's say Dracos. Okay, that was some pretty good damage. Oh, yeah! Oh, gosh! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no! Nah, wait, nah. The goat and Dracos got this. They don't wait. They don't. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's stronger as time goes on. What? What strength? What strength, though? I only got two stars. I'll build a better team. Well done. You handled that champion like a pro. Seems like that champion wasn't so tough after all. Now let's see what's in those treasure chests. No, no, no! I can't move! Why? <laughs> There's a lot of gold in here. Jackpot! This one seems to have a lot of some trinkets of sorts. I'm not sure what they're worth. I guess you can have them, maybe. You! Let's split the gold by- Okay. Three, we all okay, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll take my share. I just want you to know, I let you fight that champion, so I don't owe you anything anymore. We're square now. Being a spectral keeper means more than being a couple champions. We'll see if you can prove yourself in the long run. It was fun, wasn't it? I love Horizon Beach. It's my favorite place in the whole century. But we can't just relax and and have fun while there's trouble going on in the monster century. I left your share in that treasure chest. How I know y'all ain't short me. But don't forget to check out the other chests as well. Might be something useful for you in there. 
I'm sure we'll meet again soon. See ya! You ain't got nothing to say about that, Leo? 2000... Okay, maybe they didn't. Hey, we got a century token. Great! We found another one of the century tokens. There must be more century tokens, though. Maybe we have to explore more areas? We could also try going back to the Oracle in Snowy Peaks and ask her. Back inside the magma chamber. What? Say so we're back inside the magma chamber? Huh? We're back inside the magma chamber. Well, I was about to run. Uh, what's at? Uh, woman isn't here. What do you think you can just barge <laughs> into me shop like that? <laughs> well, I right, mate. You me first customer in. Welcome to first and only shop endorsed by an official Goblin Miners Union. What you wondering why I'm talking all that? <laughs> all of us gobbles <laughs> can talk, mate. You just never gone and tried to talk to a gobble before, have you, mate? Anyway, me merchandise is exclusive, mind ya. I only got one of each. So each fine ye fin ye talking like that. Switch stones is okay, I will buy everything you have there. You done it, mate. You gone and bought out me entire stock. That means I gotta go back in the mines and find <laughs> some stock Thanks, mate. Oh gosh. Hopefully he'll have more stuff eventually. Okay, there's... Whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill. I can speak- I can speak your language now, bro, chill. Alright, that's gonna- Wait, you know what? Let's go return to the old man first, and then, um, we'll talk to him about the, um, we'll give him the little ring thing that he wants, and then we'll end the episode. Oh! You found the entrance to the treasure cave and gotten my memorial ring? Thank you so much. I will finally find out what the words of my family have always been. Nothing lasts forever. Well, that's rather glum to be honest. I already knew that. I think I'll ask the black myth to change the inscription. But of course, I have to thank you. You deserve a reward for your services. You've done me a great service. Closure is more valuable than gold to me. Maybe it's just say something like, be prepared for winter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. If you liked it, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys inside the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.